This video helps new subscribers get up and running with DSR data. It gives you a quick look at the basic features and then where to go to get more detail when you're ready. If you have a Lite or Pro membership and you've logged in, you'll be presented with this menu of the three main features of DSR data. Suburb Analyzer puts a suburb under the microscope to see if it really is a good investment. Marker Matcher searches thousands of suburbs Australia-wide for those that suit your criteria. It's the most powerful feature of the website. And Marker Monitor is used to keep an eye on property markets that you have an interest in. You set up alerts to be notified of changes each month. Marker Matcher is where you start your research. You specify your criteria and the system searches for suburbs matching that criteria. You can limit the search to specific parts of the country, like only certain states and even only certain local government areas. Or you can use the map to limit the search to a very specific area. You can limit matching suburbs to only those that are within the area of a circle that you position and stretch out. Here, you can limit your search to houses, units, or both. And here is where you specify your criteria. There's some default criteria set already, but you can remove them or alter their ranges. Change them to match your budget and yield requirements, and you can add any other statistic. Note, however, that the list of statistics you can choose are limited in the case of light members. For a full list of all statistics and what membership they belong to, go to the services page and click on the statistics link that you'll see at the top. This section allows you to sort the list of matching markets according to what's important to you. Sorting by DSR Plus from highest to lowest is the best choice, but you can choose from any other metric, for example, yield, or even better, by the Cash Flow Strategy Suitability Index. Note that the DSR Plus and the Cash Flow Strategy Index are only available for pro members. Check out the pricing page for how to choose the right membership. Here's a list of matching markets using the default criteria. You can go back and refine your criteria and search again and again. For more details on all the powerful features of the Market Matcher, go to the Services page and click on the Market Matcher link that you'll see there. Okay, if you're happy with the candidates Market Matcher has given you, then your next stop is Suburb Analyzer. We go to the Suburb Analyzer to examine potential candidates more closely. Enter the name of the suburb and be sure to choose from either houses or units because the data will be different for each. You'll see a bunch of statistics appear. They're split into three tabs. Light members only have access to the first tab on the left. This tab contains only basic statistics. For a full list of all statistics and what tab they're on, go to the services page. Use these blue information icons to get an explanation of each metric. If it's not enough, click on the link at the end to see more. And you can see the value for each metric to the right of its name. The first row of buttons show context rulers. Context rulers help you figure out if a metric is good or bad. Green means good and red means bad. You want your suburbs metric to be as far along the green end of the ruler as possible. There's a lot more information you can glean from a context ruler. Click on the link at the bottom of any context ruler or search the FAQ page for what is a context ruler. You can also view historical charts. Each chart shows how the metric has changed over the last three years. You can use charts to see if a trend is emerging or to check a metric for volatility. There's more detail on how to use charts in the full Suburb Analyzer video. Go to the Services page and click on the link for Suburb Analyzer. The DSR Plus tab is only available to pro subscribers. It includes the most advanced metrics for gauging a suburb's investment potential. 
use the information icon if any metric's meaning is at all unclear. The most valuable metric on the whole website is the DSR+. It incorporates all the other metrics into a single score out of 100 that summarises the growth potential for a suburb. The higher the score, the higher the future capital growth. Note, you don't need to examine every metric. They're all incorporated into the DSR+. The DSR Plus gives you a summary score for all of the other metrics. The Strategy Suitability Indexes tab is only available to pro members. The Strategy Suitability Indexes score a suburb for a specific investment strategy. For example, if you're after high cash flow, you can get a score that is biased more in favour of higher yield and lower vacancy rate, but also with growth expected. And for more on that, see the full-length Suburb Analyzer video from the services page. The Market Monitor allows you to keep an eye on certain property markets of interest. You might be looking to buy in, but the metrics aren't quite right yet, or you might already own a property and you want to monitor it for changes. Firstly, you pick a market. Now be careful to choose between houses or units. You can have more than one, but there are limits depending on your membership. Then you pick a metric, a metric for that market that you want to keep an eye on. You can choose multiple metrics. DSR plus, typical value and vacancy rate are good examples. Each month, you'll get a report emailed to you. You can turn off notifications at any time. You can see what your monthly email report would look like right now. The report shows each suburb you selected and each metric too. The values are in two columns so you can see the change from month to month. For more details on using the Market Monitor, check out the full length video. You'll find a link on the services page. You can view your account and make changes by clicking on the icon of a person in the top right. The Change Service page shows what your current membership plan is and whether you can change it or not. Note that you have to wait until your current plan ends before you can upgrade. You can't upgrade mid-month. You can cancel at any time. You'll still have access to the system until your month runs out. Cancelling stops payments from recurring. You can also change your password using this link. If you get any error messages, remove special characters and try again. And that's the general gist of how to use DSR data. That should be enough to get you going. Check out the services page for more detail on each feature and be sure to visit the help page too.